Okay, so we're going to do this um, dress and uh, the color we're going to use. It's a real pretty kind of a light green. It's called Aspen. And it's um, the Hobby Lobby that we used, the Egyptian cotton, and we use the black label. It's a number 10 cotton thread. Um, and like I said, this is Hobby Lobby's brand, so you can buy this uh, 289 Usually it's on sale, so catch the sale. Sometimes I get it for $1.99. So anyway, um, before you start, anytime you start a dress, um, always measure it around a Barbie. So what I do is I take and do a couple of rows, to at least two rows. This is uh, six rows, but at least two rows. And I measure it around. I make sure that it fits so that you have some where it goes over like that. And then you can have a place for the snaps. So always do that before you start a pattern. Make sure it goes at least over enough. Uh, to put snaps on it. And if it doesn't, we always can do a line of uh, single crochet, you know, a trim around it to give it more. But uh, I always do this, make sure it fits. And if not, you can always um, change your needles. But I use a size two, uh, size two needle. So anyway, what we've done is we did the first six rows. And those first six rows, you're going to chain 33. You're going to single crochet, second chain from the hook, and single crochet the row, which gives you 32 stitches. Then after that, you'll do row two, which is an uh, increase of stitches, and row three, four, five, six. And uh, all the instructions will be up here on how to do those. Uh, six rows but it's the same thing over and over so we we start out this way so right here I've gotten um, start on the seventh row and I've gotten uh, in uh, ten, uh, ten, 10 single crochets and on the seventh row we're going to put um, 12 single crochets. So that makes it 12 right there. Then you're going to do two in the next stitch. So it's going to be one, right? And then we're going to do it again in the same stitch. So that'll be your increase right there. Now, uh, this will be 12 and then 2 increase, then 12. Always there will be 12 in the middle. Then 2 increase, as you can see where this starts. And then 12 left. And it starts taking shape. This It goes under, uh, around for the bust. It'll start. So each uh, row usually has an, a certain amount here, then 2, then 12, then 2, then this certain amount over here. So those rows go on, uh, that, that pattern goes on uh, from row 1 all the way to row uh, 13. And so we're going to do 13 rows uh, as a total. And uh, this is the seventh row I'm starting on now. So we'll do another six rows after this. And I will have little clips uh, with the... Uh, during this uh, video with the uh, amount of rows that we do and the instructions on exactly how to do it. But it's the same thing that we always do for these dresses so um, we'll uh, not um, spend a lot of time crocheting the top on video. So once you get those 13 rows done that the instructions will be uh, up here, then um, 
we'll come back and do the next row after that. Okay, so we finished uh, these uh, 13 rows. You can see how it's shaping up. And we're going to go on to number uh, uh, row 14. And I've done um, so far I've done 7. So let me okay, so I've done 7. And we're going to do nine single crochets. So I'm going to do one. So that's eight and nine. Then we're going to do two stitches together. So you're going to go in one stitch. Get that. In one stitch, you're going to yarn over and pull through and hold it on. You're going into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and you have three stitches. You will yarn over and pull through all three. That makes two stitches into one. That's called um, single crochet, two together. And then you will continue and you will do the same pattern. You're going to do nine single crochets. There's four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Once you do that, you're going to go back and do a two single crochets together again. So you're going to go in this stitch, yarn over, pull through, hold it. Go in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through. You have three, yarn over and pull through all three. That makes another two in to one stitch. So it's nine single crochets, two together. Nine single crochets, two together. And you'll do that all the way across to the end of row 14. In row 15, you'll do exactly the same thing, only instead of nine, it will be eight single cro crochets, two together, eight, two together, eight, two together, eight, two together, and eight. So um, this is uh, 14, then the 15 will be this, the same thing except for eight. I'm going to put the instructions up here for those two rows. After that, you will do row 16, 17, and 18 single crochets. So there will be three rows after these two. There will be three rows of nothing but single crochets rows. So once we get these rows done from 14 to 18, um, then we'll come back and we'll start on the straps uh, for the, um, the that'll start making the sleeve part. So that's how it's it's going. This is how it's looking, and all your instructions will be up here. Okay, so we finished uh, the rows um, up to the row 18, those last few rows of single crochets, and we started row 19, and this is how it looks right now. So we started this row with nine single crochets, we did nine, and we got the ninth one, we chained ten chains. We skipped three stitches, one, two, three. Put it in the fourth stitch, single crocheted in the fourth stitch. Then we single crocheted over 18 more stitches. And now 
I've hit the 18th one right there. Oops. Now I'm going to go chaining one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten chains. And I'm going to skip one, two, three. Then I'm going to come down in this um, fourth one right there, single crochet. Then I will have um, nine stitches left to finish. So we will single crochet over the nine stitches. Now this makes the sleeves. Uh, starting of the sleeves. So let's, let's see. Yeah, so I've counted. All right, so, um, so again, you do nine stitches, chain 10, skip 1, 2, 3, go down in that next chain, come over 18, go up 10, skip 3, 1, 2, 3, down there, and then there's 9 left here. So that makes the sleeve, as you can see. And then once we do that, we're going to chain one turn. And then we will come over this and we will single crochet every stitch. Um, so you'll single crochet these stitches. You'll come up and do 10. You'll single crochet in each one of these. And then you will single crochet across. You will co single crochet in each one of these stitches all the way across. And then all the way to the end. And you will do that for a couple of rows. We're just now going to single crochet every stitch. And I'll have the amount of rows that we do will be up here. Uh, so once you finish this uh, 19th row, then just single crochet uh, the row plus over the 10 and over. So... Um, And then we'll be back uh, when we go on to the next step. All right, so we've done uh, the um, the last few rows that we needed, which was up to row 25, which was all single crochet. So these row 20 to 25 was single crochets. And across here, so this is how it looks now. Now, I put a marker here. Uh, I'm going to try a new collar. So we'll see how this goes. What I've done now is when I got to the end here, I chained one turned. And now so for the 26th row, we're going to do, um, well, let me get this in here. We're going to do single crochet, but we're going to do it in, okay. Uh, in the back loop. So, let's see if you can see this. So we're going to take and go in the back loop only. So you go into that loop like that. Get this so it's a little closer. Okay, so the back loop, you're going to single crochet like that. So you're going to go in the back loop again, only, not the front loop, or not both loops. Going in the back loop again. 
and you're going to single crochet each one of those in the back loop. And what it does, it forms a ridge. So see? And that makes it turn forward. So you see, there's a ridge there. And that way it lays, lays forward. So this will be the collar that we're going to do now. So I want you to, uh, this row 26 back loops only all the way over to uh, this point here that I've marked. I'll put up here how many stitches it is, how many you're going to come over before you stop. I'll put that up here. So uh, single crochet back loops only to this point and then we will come back once you get that done. Okay, so we finished that uh, row right there and uh, when we got to the end there we chained one, turned, and now we're going to single crochet and like you normally do, just single crochet in each row all the way across. Then when you get to the back or when you get to the end of this row you will chain one and you will turn and single crochet again to this end and then when you get to the end chain one and turn and we're going to do several rows uh, of this of just single crochet to make this collar half of a collar we're doing and it's going to fold down like this and then when we're done we'll come over here and do this side and what we want is a split collar. So one is this way and one is this way. So there will be a split here in the middle of the collar. So we'll see how this works. And um, just uh, single crochet as many rows as I have up here. And once you get that done, then we'll come back. Okay, so we finished this one side of the collar. See why it's not focusing. Okay, so we finished the one side of the collar right here. Now we're going to do the other side. So, what I've done, I skipped one stitch. So, there's one stitch between the two. So, I here it is. I skipped one stitch and I attached the yarn into the next stitch. So there'll be one stitch between the two pieces of the collar. And you're going to go into the back again on this side. back only, loops you're going to single crochet so see you go in the back loop only, single crochet You're going to do that all the way across, back loops. You're going to do it all the way across to the end. You're going to chain one turn. You're going to single crochet again up to this point right there. And you'll do that uh, for as many rows as you did for this side of the collar. So when it turns, it will be a split in it and uh, in the collar and it'll lay down like this, this will go this way. So just continue doing the back rows only for this row, that's row 26, and then we'll do uh, the same amount of rows on this side. And once we get done with that, then we will come back and we will start the, um, the skirt part of the dress. Okay, so we've done both collars, 
this side and this side. Uh, I put a little pin there to kind of hold it down because it's curling up, so I'll have to fix that. But anyway, uh, if it curls up, we can just you can tack it uh, down or just, you know, carefully... Uh, put a cool cool iron to it or something. I, I, I don't know. But anyway, this is how it looks. This is the the way it uh, has come out. So, um, I just thought it'd be nice to do something different that I've never done before. So, that's how it looks. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to do the bottom part of um, the dress. We're going to do the uh, the skirt part. So what you do is you turn it over like this. You attach it at the chain. This was the start chain where we started the whole thing. And you are going to single crochet into every chain. There's 32 chains here. Let me get this a little bit clearer. Okay. So there's 32 chains. And you're going to go into each chain space and you're going to single crochet. Now I'm laying down my thread, the end, I'm weaving that end as I go. Tuck all those, it's less ones to have to uh, weave in later. So. so you're just going to keep going across into each chain and single crochet like that. This is the end of that chain that we started when we started the project. So you start at this end, you go all the way across. You're going to chain one and turn. Okay, so we've done the single crochet row on here, and I finished one row. Uh, be single crochet, which would be the first row. Second row now, the third row. We're doing, I wanted to show you how to do the two and one stitch. So we did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So on this row we're doing seven single crochets and then we're going to uh, put two in the next stitch. So you put one in that stitch and you put it another one in the same stitch and that gives us an extra stitch there. So then we're going to do seven more single crochets. So that's one two, three, oops, four, five, six, and seven. So this will be the pattern. You're going to do seven, two in one, seven more, and two in the next stitch. So that's one, and then two in the same stitch. So you're going to continue doing that all the way across. When you get to the end there will be a couple of stitches left, so you just do those as single crochets. And this is going to be the pattern for uh, the next uh, few rows. So I'm going to put up here how many um, rows we're doing and how many uh, stitches and then so it's always going to be uh, so many stitches then two single uh, two in one stitch then so many stitches two in one stitch single crochet so many two in one so you know you always have a couple left at the end so that's how you do it. Uh, and once we get all the rows done, uh, I'll be back. Okay, so we've done uh, up to these um, 
seven rows. This is how it's looking. This is the increase on the bottom of the bodice. This is the top part. So now that we're on the um, eighth row, we're going to chain one. We're going to turn. You always go into the first stitch under the chain. All right. And you're just going to keep single crocheting. And we're going to do that for row uh, 8, which is this one, to row um, 15. So single crochet this row. We have 56 stitches here. Single crochet, eight row, eight, all the way up to 15. Now, when you get to the 15th row, don't do the last four stitches. So do rows eight through 15, but leave the last four stitches unworked, and then we'll come back, and I'll show you how to what to do with those. Okay, so we finished row um, 15, and we didn't do the last four stitches. So now we're going to take this right, this is the front, so we're going to take the right, put it over the left, back, and we're going to put it together in the, fir the four stitches. So, you're going to take this uh, single crochet first, and you're going to, let me get this, you're going to go into this next stitch. There's four stitches there that we need to work. You go into that stitch there. You're going to bring up this back, and you're going to put it in the first stitch right there. And you're going to single crochet those two together, like that. So we're going in the next um, stitch, next one together. You're going to single crochet that one. Going in the next stitch and the next one together. Single crochet that. Okay. So then you're going to go in the last stitch. And the last stitch there. So you're going to put in four of the stitches together, back to back, left over, right over left, and this makes it together. And then you will um, start your pattern row. So this is how the top looks. You get those folded down so they quit rolling. This is the bottom of the bodice right here. And we'll start this pattern row. And we'll start the, into the, the very next stitch. Uh, go into the very next stitch with the pattern. So we'll be back to do that pattern row. Okay, so we're going <clears> to, <throat> we've started this pattern row, so we could show you what we're doing. It is going to be a um, shell, um, as you can see. I'm going to show you how it looks like this way. Okay, so for on the first row that we did, 
we started like we said in the next stitch. After we put the backs together, <coughs> we started and we did a single crochet in that stitch. Then we skipped two stitches. And then in the next stitch, we put five single, I mean double crochets. <coughs> Excuse me. We put five double crochets in one stitch. Then we skipped two stitches like that. And then we did a single crochet in that next stitch. So after you do that, uh, that, that makes the grouping. So you're going to repeat that uh, all the way around. So you single crochet, you skip two, you put five double crochets in the next stitch, you skip two, you single crochet which anchors that shell down there, you skip two stitches, you put five double crochets in the next stitch, skip two stitches, anchor it down with a single crochet. So you continue that all the way around. It's a very simple, simple pattern. So then when we get to the end of the uh, shell, we have the shell, but we really don't have two stitches to skip. So in this very end, let me focus this better. So at the end, we won't go two, we'll go into the very next one. So we're just going to single crochet into the next stitch right there. And that anchors the shell down. Okay. All right, so for row two, we're going to skip two stitches. Um, this one and this one, these are all the five double crochets from from here to here, five doubles. So we're going to skip the first two double crochets, go into the top one, which is the middle one, like that. And you're going to um, single crochet into that stitch. I'm sorry, I forgot to chain two. After you single crochet, you're going to chain two also. Sorry. So one, two. So single crochet into that stitch, then chain two. Then go into the top of that. Whoops. We're going to double crochet. No, we're singling. I'm so sorry. I'm getting this all. Say single crochet into the top of that, like that. Okay, and then you're going to skip the next two double crochets. And then you're going into the next stitch. That's the actual single crochet on the other row. You're going to put five double crochets. Five double crochets into that same stitch. So that's two, oops, that's three, four, and the fifth one. So once you get that done, the um, five double crochets, you're going to uh, skip one, two, and put it back in the top, and single crochet. So that way, your shells are going to be like this. You got one here, one here. They're going to be, um, your single crochet will be on the top of the sh shells on your second row. 
the five double crochets will be down in the single crochet, the valley. <laughs> and then you'll skip two and come back up to the top and single crochet. There, skip two, come down back into the single crochet valley and put five double crochets. Skip two, up to the top, put single crochet, skip two, come back down into the single crochet valley and put five double crochets. So that's your pattern. You're going to continue to do that around and around. When you get to the end, if there's only one stitch instead of two, you anchor that to the next stitch like we did on the first row. Okay, so we finished the pattern right here. This is the bottom, and here's our top. And here's the bottom of the skirt. So we did 15 rows of the uh, shell stitch. And uh, after that, when we got to the end, we uh, put a single crochet of the dark uh, green. Now this is the color I'm using and it is called Juniper. So I had some of that. You don't you can do it with the same color or you can do it with a, a contrast color. So again I use the Egyptian cotton uh, black label which is a 10 number 10 cotton thread. And these patterns are done for the um, for the Hobby Lobby Egyptian cotton because regular number 10 cotton thread makes them too big. So uh, you can get that at any local Hobby Lobby. So anyway, so here's the color that we've been doing. And like I said, I, I'm, I just took at the end of the last single crochet. I just uh, attached that yarn and went around and did one row so far. So I'm I'm uh, almost through with this row. But like I said, it's just a just single crochet, and you're going to single crochet into every single stitch all across the five and down and up and down. And when you get to the end, you're just going to slip stitch into the, the top of this single crochet. Now you can put one or two rows. It's up to you. Uh, and you can do the same color if you want to keep the same color. Just do a couple of, at least one, and it kind of finishes, finishes it off. So it looks like, you know, looks better that way. So I, I'm also going to uh, take it and trim it, the collar. Um, I'm going to go down here, just attach single crochet down all the way around and up, and then attach it, go down all the way around and up and put the color up there. <clears throat> That's what I'm planning on doing. So if I don't do it, then I didn't like it. So I'm going to, you can do it how you want. It's up to you. And then I'm also going to put a simple little single crochet belt around in that color. And uh, I'll have the instructions for the belt. And uh, it's just simple two or three rows of single crochets. And then uh, I'm also going to uh, maybe do a hat for this one to match. And if I do the hat, I'll also put the hat 
instructions here along with the belt so if I decide to finish it that way so anyway here's how it looks so far like I said you can pretty much do it what you want colors you want trim you want if you want to trim belt if you want it trim the collar make a hat it's up to you you can do all kinds of things with it so anyway uh, there it is and uh, we'll come back and show you the finished outfit uh, after I get all the little things done okay so we finished the Barbie doll dress and uh, here it is the bottom we got the little belt on we did the trim and I started at the back here went over this way back up or across up and then over down and all the way around that's way you only had to attach it one time now we fixed uh, we made this little hat as you can see so this is the whole outfit all together and so this is the end of this project uh, if you like this video please click the like button and subscribe to our channel so you'll receive the newest of our um, crocheting for Barbie and uh, we thank you very much for watching our channel